If you want to create a customized assessment and then administer that assessment to your students via ed, the simple process to do so is simply to make sure you're in the discover section of ed and slide down to the my stuff button below discover. Once you've clicked on my stuff, this will bring you to the view that allows you to see content that you have customized in ed. It defaults as you see here to lessons. We will want to go to the browse by column on the left and go to assessments. Here you'll see the pre-created assessments that I've already built in ed. If this is the first time you've done this, you should have no content here. So to create a custom assessment, you will simply click the blue create button. You'll create an assessment title, and then you'll need to affiliate that assessment with a subject area. So in my case, I would probably do reading and language arts. You can type an optional description of the assessment if you want, and then click create, and that will create that assessment for you and it will live down here below. For our purposes today, I'm gonna to go into an assessment that I just created called assessment practice. And as you see, this assessment practice test has no items linked to it. So let's just say I'm in the 10th grade and I want to give an assessment over the short story, The Book of the Dead, but I wanna change it or I wanna modify it. So I'm gonna go here to add items and it's gonna pull up all of the content that I have linked to my account. So I can choose from these banks. Now I have a lot of content linked to my account, so I would need to scroll through to get to the relevant uh, topic area here. So for us, that's gonna be Into Literature grade 10. So I'm gonna select that. And once I've gone into Into Literature, as you see, I can look at program level assessments, unit level assessments, etc. Well, the title I'm looking for is in unit one, and it is in the Analyze and Apply section of unit one. And there it is, Lesson Two, The Book of the Dead. So I can simply click on that and it's now gonna pull up my selection test along with any of the other assessments that are connected to the skills and strategies that are related to the Book of the Dead. I only want for my purposes today to adjust the selection test. So you can see I have 10 items that I'm choosing from here. So I'm gonna go ahead and pick the Book of the Dead selection test. I'm now able to preview all the different test items. So let's just say I look at this first item and I say, yeah, that looks good. I can look at the answer here if I want, but I know for sure I wanna add this to my assessment. So that's now been added. I look at question number two and I say, yep, I wanna add that one as well. And let's just say I look at question number three and I think, you know, I want that on my test, but I need to change the wording. This is just not working for me. So I'm gonna still add it and then I will go and edit it in a moment. So you add the questions that you want, and when you're done, simply click Save and Done, and you will now see your assessment as it exists in this moment. So I'll get an indicator here telling me I've saved these three items to my assessment, and I can see them here. Now that they've been added to the assessment, I can go in and begin to edit them. So you'll notice each item has a three-dot menu in the lower right-hand corner of the uh, question tile. So if I click that three dot menu, I can either show the answer or edit that assessment question. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit edit. Notice I do get an alert that says, if I significantly change this question item, we cannot guarantee that it still reflects the standards. So just be aware of that as you're editing your assessments. So here, as you see, I can go in now and edit the question. I can change the wording if I want. I can change the multiple choice options. I can set the correct answer. I can give multiple correct answers, etc. So once you have done everything that you want to do uh, and change that, you can just simply click save. So let's just say I wanna change it. I'm just gonna put some uh, extra text here at the end. And then once I've completed that, I just simply click save. And now that item has been adjusted. Okay. So now from here, there we go. I get my green icon indicating that everything has been saved perfectly. So now from here, I'm then able to see that this particular item is attributed to me because I have edited and changed that item. So it has now become part of a section we're gonna take a look at called My Items. So this test is ready to go. At any point in time, I can assign it, so I can push it out to classes, I can duplicate it, make another copy of it. 
I can also share this with my colleagues that are a part of my same school. So you've got lots of options once you've built that particular assessment. We're gonna slide back to assessments here and let's take a look at the final element here, my items. So in my items, this is my location where I can see items that I have adjusted. So you remember when I just tweaked and edited that particular question item, it said created by RB off to the right. Uh, those are my initials. So any item that I modified is going to live here. I can also, if I desire, create an item from scratch. So if I don't like any of the question items or I just wanna add an additional one, I can simply click on it, select my subject area, choose the item type. We currently support four different item types and then go ahead in and write that particular question. So once I've created my question, the multiple choice options and the correct answer, I can simply save that and add that to any particular assessment that I want. If I wanna add any of those customized assessment items to any of my particular assessments, remember I just need to go into the My Assessments section of my stuff select the relevant assessment that I've already built. And here I'll see the questions that are currently on the assessment. So remember, we just built this three question assessment together. I'm gonna add some additional items to this. So I can click add items here. And when we were browsing before, you'll notice that we were only looking at HMH items and we selected a program. So in our case, we went to, into literature. But in this case, instead of HMH items, I'm gonna add my items. And I will now see any of the content that I've created, whether that's something I've modified from into literature or questions that I've written from scratch. So if I wanna add an additional custom question here, I can simply click add, click save and done. And now I have modified that custom assessment and I can assign it, share it, duplicate it, preview it, or anything that I wanna do with that assessment at this point.